Hello everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. You okay? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay guys, today we are going to be reading Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 26, Psalm 5, and Proverbs chapter 1, verses 24 through 28. Um, Jesus will be talking all through Matthew today because this will be the Beatitudes. I'll tell you when Jesus starts. It's just a quick introduction and then Jesus' word starts. The Beatitudes. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountainside, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, and these start Jesus' words, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by man, men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one little will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men, so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you, that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of judgment. But I say to you, that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of a judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council, but whoever says, You fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Agree with your adversary quickly, while you are on your way with him, lest your adversary deliver you to the judge. The judge hands you over to the officer, and you be thrown into prison. Assuredly, I say to you, you will by no means get out of there until you have paid the last penny. Amen. And that is where we are going to stop with the book of Matthew today. And now we are going to read Psalm 5. 
It is a Psalm of David, a prayer of guidance to the chief musician with flutes. Give, sorry, give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell in you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of inequity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord adores the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in, your, in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against you. But let all those who rejoice, who put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround them as with a shield. And that was Psalm 5, a Psalm of David. And ending today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 1, verses 24 through 28. <clears throat> because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded, because you disdained all my counsel and would not have none of my rebuke. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes, when your terror comes like a storm, and your destruction comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. And that was Proverbs chapter 1, verses 24 through 28. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your hearts. Let me get out the homework. I don't even think you heard the homework yesterday. I don't think you were in here. And the homework for last night was... God gave Jacob another name. What was it? What was the other name that God gave Jacob? Do you remember? Do you know? What was the name God gave Jacob? It's the name of a place. of a big place, an important place. A Jewish place. Israel? Yes. God gave Jacob the name Israel. All right. Now this one here should be easy. What are the first four books of the New Testament? We are reading the first one right now. What are the first four books of the New Testament? That is your homework for tonight. Mm -hmm. You be quiet. Mm -hmm. And let me go over our prayer requests real quick. 
Please keep the following people in prayer. Lonnie Doe's Jr. and family, Jimmy Myers, Abby Myers and Rhonda Karshner, Sherman Crabtree, Layla and her son Emil, Michelle Watkins, Judy Thompson, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Dora Carper, uh, Randy Post, Barb Post, Melody Stanley, April and Linda Thacker, Sammy, and the family and friends of Stephanie Holstein. Alright guys, if you would like to subscribe, the link should be in the bottom left hand corner. And another video, a random video, should be in the top right hand corner. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.